Hi, grade threes. If you can recall, last week we learned about Jacob and Esau and Jacob stealing Esau's birthright. So this week we continue with the story where we will read about Jacob actually receiving this blessing and then having to flee for his life. Esau sells his birthright. Genesis 25 Remember last week we learnt about Esau selling his birthright to his twin brother Jacob after returning from a hunt exhausted. Now as their father Isaac grows older and weaker, he would like to bestow the blessing on his firstborn son. When Isaac was old and his eyes were dim so that he could not see, he called his older son Esau and told him to go and hunt and prepare a delicious meal for him, so that he may bless him before he dies. But Rebekah, hearing Isaac's request, told Jacob to pretend to be Esau. When Esau went out in the field, she commanded Jacob to bring two young goats, so that she may prepare a delicious meal for his father, and that Jacob may receive the blessing. Jacob knew that he was very different from Esau, but he put on some of Esau's old clothes and tied goatskin on his forearms. Isaac was already blind and unable to tell the boys apart. He bestowed his blessing upon Jacob. When Esau returned and discovered that Jacob had stolen his birthright, he was furious. Esau planned on killing his brother once his father had passed away. When Rebekah heard these words, she sent Jacob away to Leban. Genesis 27 verse 41 to 43 Now Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing with which his father had blessed him. And Esau said to himself, the days of mourning for my father are approaching. Then I will kill my brother Jacob. But the words of Esau, her older son, were told to Rebekah. So she went and called Jacob, her younger son, and said to him, Behold, your brother Esau comforts himself about you by planning to kill you. Now, therefore, my son, obey my voice. Arise. Flee to Leban, my brother in Haran, and stay with him a while until your brother's fury turns away.